Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's another beautifully cloudy day here at the ranch. We are gonna be taking care of some cool stuff today, getting ready and prepped to ram the columns for the gates. So we're gonna be making a couple of tools. We're gonna be picking up some stuff in town. We're just kind of kicking around, uh, getting ready to build out the forms, which will ultimately form up the gate columns and hold the gate in place. First thing we're gonna be doing this morning because nothing else in town is open yet, is we're gonna be welding up a tool, which is a tamping rod. It's essentially a piece of one inch steel a cylinder that we're gonna attach to a square piece of, I think quarter inch steel is what I've got laying around. Ooh, pretty. You can see the square, three inch square end. There. Nice. It's still tacky. So why are you watering our rocks? Well, we have to keep the moisture content in the rocks at a certain level because when we combine it with water and sand, if the rocks are bone dry, they will soak up all the moisture and the rammed earth won't cure correctly. We got some windows today too. We went to our local recycling place and a couple of doors. So these are for the shop and the garage. All right, so we are cutting all of our frame studs to 13 feet, which is a little bit over eight feet, but eventually they're gonna be doubled, or not doubled, uh, eight feet plus four. So it'll give us a foot on top for play, um, which is good. Plus we get the scraps, which give us little two foot sections. Deal, I've got a couple more cuts to make, and then we can actually start framing up the rammed earth frames. So, yeah. All right, so we are ready to assemble our first frame, which is very, very, very exciting. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, I think I will frame them up uh, at exactly four feet to match the, match the plywood. <laughs> Put on center. Everybody say hi to Terry. All right, now we gotta flip the whole thing over. We may end up doing another cross piece here at the eight foot mark. Which actually, should we just wait until tomorrow when we get the MDO? Cause I can frame up the other rest of them. Yeah. Yeah, let's just make up the rest of the metal frames and we'll just lay them out like this. And then tomorrow when I show up with the MDO, we can just take the MDO straight off the trailer onto here, screw it in, and then go from there. What we'll do is we'll put in our cross pieces here to go from there to there uh, with those little two footers. So we'll essentially make, we have to cut them weird to fit in here. Well, and then probably what, like fold them, fold them weird so that they, like flat against that center yeah beam or, okay. essentially yeah yeah it's a little bit a little bit jicky but the gears are turning science braid is lo brain is loading i know i need theme music for the uh, the, the looking it's like the <laughs> shut up break I'm music for jess's thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> Let's move this off. Yeah. And one of the reasons I'm taking so much time in making sure that these forms are perfect is these are gonna be reused over and over and over and over and over again for all of our walls. So I want them to be very sturdy and like 
basically perfect so that way we don't have to worry about them as we're building. Yeah. Doing anything, you. Jeez. Yeah, the, don't you know the comments are filled with hatred and malice. Look at that. Noise. Mm mm. Not nice enough. Well, the front of that one's not lined up with. Now nah, the problem is this is longer than two feet now because this is exactly two feet. And we're sticking out a half inch on either side, which is going to warp our frame outwards. So we need to cut these another half inch on the front and the back. Experimentation! <laughs> it fits, it fits, it fits, it fits! I made two of this side. I needed to make two of that side. So that's trash. Let's start over. This is the time in the day where it's almost time to call it quits because mistakes are more likely. Brains are fried. There. Nice. And then once we get the the uh, MDO on here, it'll be rigid. Riggy's doing some math, figuring out how much more of the stud material we will need, and then we will wait until tomorrow to get the MDO which is multi-density overlay um, in order to finish these up. All right, so we got two tall frames done and we got two short frames done and we're gonna need to do two more short frames tomorrow, but we're supposed to pick up the MDO. So I think we're gonna uh, call it a night, go get some chow. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. We got some stuff. Got some stuff to show you guys. Come here, check this out. So I've been running errands in town most of the morning uh, and not really out at the property. I got out here, but uh, got a call that that is all of our MDO. This is the steel for the gate. And this is the rest of the framing material. So we have everything we need to continue framing and actually put the MDO on the frames and make them all rigid and nice. So. We're gonna get to doing that. Use this to square everything up. Ish. <laughs> Does it look like we're gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. It does. Nice. Well, these are gripping the wood just a little too good. So when I screw them in, when they hit the metal, they can't just go straight into the metal. And so they do this thing where they'll dig into the wood. And then that divot will actually be in our rammed earth. So we'll take a little putty and fill that in, or even epoxy um, and fill that in. But it's just something I need to be aware of when I'm screwing these down. Oh, I know how I do it. I remember. See, it's all coming back to me. How do you do it? If you push down on the board, it'll strip the uh, threads out which I know normally sounds like a bad thing, but. First one's done. Well, half done. Done for what we need it for, for the. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put them up there cause it'll help the, it'll help the frame stay rigid. Okay. So. Wash it up with the bottom. It's gonna need to come. What? Can you come down? Uh, on this corner. There. There. That's way out of square. Okay. We'll just do that corner first. Squared up. 
broke. Your screw broke? Yeah. I think it's because these are drywall screws. We may need to go get some different screws. Does each panel get six? Well, we're going to see. Okay. Theoretically, it should be right over that center beam. Theoretically, I'm correct. Hurrah. Huzzah. Good job, love. Yeah, I think, I think that's going to give us the strength we want. You do or you don't? I do. Good. But we'll see. We shall see. So in the middle of our very hot, very long work day, uh, it just started pouring. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> I can live with this. But so we're going to keep going. Yeah, I went from very sunny and very hot, like I was sweating. So now it's nice and cool. Nice little shower. It looks like it's not going to last long. I can see the end of it right over there. But actually, it came from there and I see blue skies. Oh, oh yeah, it's already lightening up. It's just long enough to get everything nice and wet and cool. As well as our all of our work surface is wet, but whatever. So we are done. I'm in a different shirt because I was ironically soaked. And this shirt says just had water. Uh, but I changed shirts because I was completely drenched. But we put everything that is not waterproof in the shipping containers. And we are all exhausted. I've we've been out here for 14 hours. And it's time to get some food and relax. So we're gonna go do that. Thanks for joining our adventure. <laughs>